Yep, 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 road bumps where we go through the bumps in the road that i came across learning the npc on it today i'm going to show you how to convert chop chop chopped samples into a new program without fucking anything up all right check them out so we must show you the best way to chop up a sample i lied to you there's no best way to chop up the sample of course this is something that i struggled with for a while because it's sort of hidden. So let's begin by finding us a sample to load. Already loaded. <laughs> Brilliant. So now we got the sample in the memory, right? But it's not on any of the pads yet. So let's go to sample edit. See, we have the sample right here, right? We want to chop this up. We go to the chop. The favorite mode, manual mode, which is the best. Joking you again, but I really like this one. So we're chopping it up on the fly right there. I'm very off, but that's cool. We will sort it out. I click the Q link to end up on the start point edit. We just fine tune all the start points here so we get the chops right. Might as well do it right from the beginning, you know what I'm saying? That's good enough for the example's sake. Now, how do we get all of these slices sliced up and onto the pads? Because we can go out of here and still jack shit is happening there. Let's go back to sample edit and make sure we're on chop still. If we're in trim mode, we can do all types of different things. We can pick a slice, or pick one of the slices. Let's go in here. Slice 11 and process it. We can extract it to a new sample, for example. But that's not what we want to do. We want to take all of these chops and bring them onto a new program. Bring the chops all out at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Where do you get all of this from? You hold shift and press convert. Now you can make a new drum program using slices. At this point, you're confronted with a whole bunch of different options right here. You could either make a new program with new samples. That's gonna take up more memory on the MPC. But this one, with a non-destructive slice, wow, what is the difference? This means it's gonna use the same sample and refer to the same file in the memory and just let it know where the chops are at. All right, now, when we're out in the main menu here, we're on track one. We want to select the program that we just made. So we're scrolling along here, and there it is, chopped up for us. Full level. Now, we can go to sample edit. We were here in chop, and that's gonna be the same as before, you know what I'm saying? But if we go to program, we can edit all of our slices, the start and end points, and semitones, you know what I'm saying, all the standard stuff. And we can go to program edit, and this is where we set all of the different parameters for the individual pads. Add some effects to samples, you know, set the mute groups. So if we want these two pads to mute each other, we can do that right there. Now, the possibilities are endless. Whoopsie. 